Good morning, Kea'au Elementary School. Good morning, kindergartners and first graders. Today is April 1st, and um, I'm just going to help you with some of the tasks that your teachers have um, given to you for enrichment this week. We're going to go over some rhyming, and we are going to go over the rhyme Chuk Chuk Chuk, which is a really fun rhyme. And then we are going to read a story called Carla's Sandwich. Some of you may have already read it. Um, and then we're going to do a little picture drawing and some, some writing about Carla's sandwich. So this is for our kindergartners and our first graders. We miss you so much. Our, our um, teachers have worked so hard to put these um, reading, writing, listening, speaking tasks together. So you probably won't be able to speak to me directly because this is pre-recorded, but you can be talking about what you're learning with your family all the time, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go into um, what we're doing. So hold on one second. You see my daughter? She was walking in the background. That's Riley. Okay, so we're going to share this. Okay, so here we go. I hope you guys are having fun at home. I know you miss us and we definitely miss all of you. Um, but we will be back soon together. I hope you're staying safe. You're staying in the house as much as possible, washing your hands, reading books every day. Um, okay, so here we are. So this is for you if you are in kindergarten or in first grade, okay? Um, and uh, parents or um, kupuna, tutu who are at home with the keiki, if uh, you have not yet picked up your packet, but you have Wi-Fi access, and I'm sure you do because you wouldn't be watching this right now, just go to our school website and um, head over to the parent page and click on the kindergarten or first grade link and it has um, resources that will help you with this video. Do you guys hear my dog? That's Keely. She is very vocal. All right, so what we're gonna be learning today. Today, we're gonna be practicing our rhyming because as you remember, as you know, um, the first grade and our kindergarten teachers let you know that like singing and reading aloud, the rhymes, the nursery rhymes are so important to help beginning readers. So if there's anything that you could be doing every day, it could be reading from the nursery rhymes out loud, um, read it to your, your sisters and brothers, to your cat, to your dog, read it to yourself. It's so important to help you with building um, an awareness of how to read. Today we're gonna read Chuk Chuk Chuk. And um, for our first graders and kindergartners, you can, you'll, you'll be an audience to our first grade um, enrichment lessons. Um, there's going to be a quick read aloud from a text called Carla's Sandwich. And um, then we're going to do some writing about the problem in the story and how is it solved. It's a really cute story. I really liked it because Carla is quite a creative and um, dis distinct character. I really like her, Carla. All right, so here we go. Okay, so let's talk about rhyming. All right, so remember when I saw you guys on Monday, we went over these rhyming words, sky and my. They're the same color because they rhyme, sky and my. This word, what is this word? Right, blue, good. And this word is shoe. Blue and shoe do rhyme. How about these words? Very good. Thank you for sounding them out. B -e -d bed and r -e -d red. Bed and red rhyme. Next words. S -a -n sun. S -a -n fun. Sun and fun rhyme. Very good. O -l -d. Um, old, k o l d, cold. Old and cold rhyme. Very good. Now these words right here, where you see there's a big red line through them. S t a p, stop. D a b, dab, dab. Stop and dab do not rhyme. Those are not rhyming words. They do not, their main sound does not sound alike, right? How about this one? K, a, t, cat. Hmm. J, a, m, p, 
jump jump no cat and jump do not rhyme so we remember that right kindergartners and first graders you guys know that too right these words do rhyme sk i sky m i my sky and my rhyme right so practice the rhyming words as much as you can with your families that will help your brain to learn how to read better all right so let's go to the next slide Okay, so here is a nursery rhyme called Chuk Chuk Chuk. Do you know I've never knew that this was a nursery rhyme? I just learned this nursery rhyme today and it's really cute. It's about a hen um, and um, a person who's asking uh, Mama Hen how many chicks she's got. Chuk Chuk Chuk. So before we read it together, let's play the music video. Here we go. Do you hear Keely? She's so excited. She wished she could join me here and be on camera too. Here we go. Oops, excuse me. This is Flavor. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Chicks have you got? Madam, I have got ten. Four of them are yellow, and four of them are brown, and two of them are speckled red, the nicest in the town. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. How many chicks have you got? Madam, I have got ten. Four of them are yellow, and four of them are brown. And two of them are speckled red, the nicest in the town. All right. So that was how you sing the song. Um, and our kindergarten teachers would like you to read the song and circle, circle the um, words that rhyme and underline the different sight words that you see. So here we go. Chuck, 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 chuck. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. How many chicks have you got? Madam, I have got 10. Four of them are yellow and four of them are brown and two of them are speckled red, the nicest in the town. Hmm, so there are a couple of rhyming words in here. Can you find them? I'll wait. And remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time, because I know Mrs. Labor talks fast a lot, so you can pause the video if you need more time. So look for look for at least two pairs and um, two two different rhyming words. Okay, so I'll, I will tell you the two rhyming words I saw: brown. Brown and town. Town. Those are the two rhyming words. So you can play this again. And remember, so if you picked up your instructional packet for April 1st, it will let you know what the sight words are. Take a look at that and, and find the sight words here in this poem. All right. Next. Next, we are going to head into our read aloud time. So for this read aloud time, the first grade teachers, Mrs. Moreau, Mrs. Kano, Mrs. Padilla, Mrs. Padilla, Mrs. Onaga, Mrs. Raras, Mrs. Tanaka, um, they would all like you and Mrs. Kaokai to read this story along with the read aloud and find out what you think is the problem of the story and what you think is the solution. Almost every single story that we read has a problem. And a lot of times, but not all the time, it also has a solution. And definitely in Carla's sandwich, there is a problem and there's a solution. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the read aloud. Oops, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to Storyline Online, brought to you by the SAG-AFTRA Foundation. I'm Allison Janney, and today I will be reading 
Carla's Sandwich, written by Debbie Herman and illustrated by Sheila Bailey. Carla brought weird sandwiches to school. Buster noticed it first. He was sitting next to Carla at lunch one Monday. Boo! Where are you eating? Buster asked. It's all green and slimy. It's an olive, pickle, and green bean sandwich, said Carla. I made it myself. Would you like some? I brought extra. No way, said Buster, pinching his nose. That's gross. It's not gross, said Carla. It's different. I like to be different. It's not different, said Buster. It's gross. And he went to sit next to Leslie instead. On Tuesday, Carla's sandwich was long with something yellow and white oozing out at the sides. What in the world is that? asked Leslie. It's my banana cottage cheese delight, said Carla, on a tasty toasted baguette. Bananas and cottage cheese? asked Leslie, sticking out her tongue. That's disgusting. It's not disgusting, said Carla. It's creative. It's disgusting, said Leslie, and she went to sit next to Nadie instead. On Wednesday, Carla's sandwich was orange and brown and lumpy. It crunched when she bit into it. Egg, said Nadie, who was sitting next to her now. What is that? I call it Carla's Crunch, said Carla. It's peanut butter, crackers, and cheddar cheese and lovely pita bread. I brought extra. Would you like some? No way, said Nadie, scrunching his face. That's sick. It's not sick, said Carla. It's unique. It's sick, said Nadie, and he went to sit next to Marcus instead. On Thursday, Carla brought a chopped liver, potato chip, and cucumber sandwich. Oh my. On Friday, she brought a sardine Ooh, and mustard like sandwich sardines. with sunflower seeds. By Monday, no one wanted to sit next to Carla, so she ate by herself. At the end of the day, Miss Pimento made an announcement. Tomorrow, we will have a picnic. Hooray, everyone shouted, a picnic, yippee. The next day, when the lunch bell rang, the kids ran to get their picnic lunches. I have a peanut butter and jelly, Nadie announced to the class. I have bologna, said Leslie. Tuna, said Buster. Oh, hey, Carla, what do you have? Carla didn't answer. It's probably a ketchup, spinach, and jelly bean sandwich, joked Buster. He and Leslie howled. So did Nady. It is not, said Carla. Let's have some quiet in here, said Miss Pimento, or we won't be able to have our picnic. The class was suddenly silent. Then the children followed Miss Pimento two by two down the hall, out the door, down the block to the park. All right, everyone, said Miss Pimento. Find a place to sit and bon appetit. Carla took a bite of her sandwich. Yuck, said Buster, pointing at Carla's sandwich. What is that, a worm sandwich? For your information, said Carla, it's a lettuce, tomato, raisin, bean sprout, pretzel, and mayonnaise sandwich. I call it the Combo Deluxe. It looks more like a Wormbo Deluxe, teased Buster. Leslie and Nadie burst out laughing. Buster rummaged through his knapsack. Whoa, he said quietly. He rummaged some more. Whoa, uh-oh, he said again. He dumped everything out of his bag. Can't believe it. Buster said sadly, I forgot my sandwich. That's awful, said Leslie, biting into her bologna sandwich. A real bummer, said Nady, chomping on his peanut butter and jelly. Soon everyone was eating, everyone except Buster. Carla looked at Buster. She looked at her sandwich. She looked back at Buster. You can have one of mine, she offered. I brought extra. <gasps> She's so Some nice. kids snickered. No, thanks, said Buster glumly. I'm not that desperate. Doris ate her egg salad sandwich, and Rufus ate his tuna. Herbert ate a salmon salad sandwich, and Barbara ate her turkey. Buster's mouth began to water. Buster looked at Carla's sandwich. Oh, maybe bean sprouts aren't so bad, he thought. It's really quite delicious, said Carla, catching Buster's glance. Buster quickly turned away. Susan ate her corned beef sandwich, and Harris munched his taco. Fabio ate his chicken sandwich, and Gordon ate his meatloaf. Buster was growing hungrier by the minute, and his stomach growled loudly. Raisins are kind of fun, he thought. 
And who doesn't like pretzels? Marcus ate his cheese sandwich and Darcy ate her bagel. Buster eyed Carla's sandwich again. You don't know what you're missing, Carla sang out. Buster couldn't take it anymore. He looked around. Everyone was busy eating. No one was watching him. Okay, he whispered to Carla. Okay, what? asked Carla. Okay, can I have one? He whispered again. Can you have one what? <laughs> asked Carla. Buster blurted impatiently. Can I please have one of your sandwiches? Everyone looked up. Carla smiled and handed Buster a combo deluxe. So Buster nice. examined the lettuce, tomato, raisin, bean sprout, pretzel, and mayonnaise sandwich carefully. He looked at Leslie, then Nady, then Carla. And then he took a very small bite. All eyes were watching as he chewed and swallowed. Well? Asked Leslie impatiently. Well? Asked Nady. Buster didn't say anything. He looked at everyone and took another bite. And another. And another. I think he likes it. I can't believe he's eating it, said Nady in disgust. Mm. What does it taste like, Buster? Asked Leslie. Is it gross? Buster didn't answer. He was too busy eating. When the last bite was gone, Buster licked his fingers and smacked his lips. Yum, he said. That was the best sandwich I ever ate. Yes. It was? Asked Nady in horror. It was? Asked Leslie in dismay. It was, said Buster, smiling at Carla. Carla beamed. I bet you would all enjoy the combo deluxe, said Carla. Who'd like to try some? <laughs> Slowly, Leslie raised her hand. Oh, look at that. And then Nady raised his. Then Darcy, Susan, Rufus, and Fabio. Soon, all the kids had their hands in the air. Carla took her last sandwich, broke it into small pieces, and handed them out to everyone. Wow, said Leslie, tasting her piece. This is terrific. Yeah, said Nady. It tastes great. Tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to bring a creative sandwich, too, said Leslie. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be a mustard sandwich with the big beans and french fries. What do you think of that, Carla? Sounds good, said Carla, and it's definitely creative. I'll bring a, a, a spaghetti and, and, and soy sauce sandwich, said Buster, as he sat down next to Carla. Yum, said Carla and Leslie together. I don't know what I'm bringing yet, said Nady, but it'll be unique. The next day, everyone in Miss Pimento's class brought an unusual sandwich to school. There was an asparagus and salad dressing sandwich, a pistachio and tangerine sandwich, and even a pizza sandwich. What did you bring today, Carla? asked Buster. I'm not telling, said Carla. You'll have to wait until lunchtime. <laughs> the morning seemed to last forever. Finally, the lunch bell rang. While Buster was munching away on his spaghetti and soy sauce sandwich, he glanced over at Carla. This time, her sandwich was not green. It was not slimy or lumpy, and nothing was oozing out at the sides. So what, what kind of sandwich is that? Buster asked. Yeah, Carla, said Leslie. What's inside? Nady looked at Carla, waiting for an answer. Well, said Carla, today I have peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Peanut butter <laughs> and jelly, asked Buster in disbelief. Peanut butter and jelly, Leslie and Nady asked together. Peanut butter and jelly, said Carla, biting into her sandwich. I like to be different. <laughs> the end. I picked Carla's sandwich because I like the idea of kids learning to celebrate their uniqueness. The things that make you you are you. There's no other person like you in the world, and that should be celebrated. I think at the end of the story, the kids learn to appreciate Carla's uniqueness, and I love that part of the story. Thank you for watching Storyline Online. Make sure to check out all of our stories. Keep watching and keep reading. All right, so... I agree. That's one of the reasons why I like this story so much. It was um, a reminder that we all have different things about each other. Doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means that we're different and we should celebrate them, right? Just like Carla, she had some different tastes in sandwiches. All right. So 
let's go back to our two questions that we have. Um, what is the problem in this story and how is it solved? So you can pause the video to think about it. Um, if you can't remember, you can definitely rewind this video back to listen to the story again. That's fine. You can listen to the story four or five times if you need to, to figure out what the problem was. Go ahead and do that now. Okay. What do you think the problem in the story was? Let's go over some main events. So some main events were... At lunchtime, um, Carla would bring sandwiches, right? And some of the sandwiches were different sandwiches than what her classmates were used to. And some of her classmates started making fun of Carla's different sandwiches, right? Um, it made Carla sad, but she still kept being herself and kept bringing the same kind of sandwiches that she liked. They were creative sandwiches. Remember, they were like sardine sandwiches, peanut butter with with um, different kind of things mixed in, not even a peanut butter or jelly kind of sandwich that we're used to. Um, and then Carla's teacher said that they were gonna have a picnic, right? And that everybody had to bring home lunch. And so that day came and um, Carla had her sandwich and everybody else had their sandwiches. But the one person who didn't have a sandwich was the one person who kept um, teasing Carla, Buster. He didn't have a sandwich. And Carla offered up her sandwich to Buster. And Buster at first did not want to indulge Carla. She didn't, he didn't want to eat the sandwich, but he became so hungry that he finally gave in and he ate one of Carla's sandwiches and the whole class stopped and watched watch to see what Buster's reaction was going to be. Because usually Buster always made fun of Carla's sandwiches. What happened? Yep, Buster liked the sandwich. He said it was one of the best ones he'd ever had, right? And then the next day, we found out that during lunchtime, a lot of Carla's classmates were bringing creative sandwiches, not the usual tuna or not the usual um, bologna sandwich. They brought different kinds of mixed sandwiches similar to what Carla would do all the time. And then someone asked Carla what kind of sandwich she brought. And they looked at her sandwich and they realized it didn't look very different. It didn't look like how she usually brought the creative sandwiches. And she said she brought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? Okay, so what do you think the problem of this story is? You can pause the video once again to talk about it. All right. If you said the problem was, the problem of the story was that people did not accept Carla's different kind of sandwich, you are probably correct. So how did we solve that problem? How did this story end up solving that problem? You can pause this video to talk with your family about it or to go back to, to re-listen to some of this, the um, parts of the story. Sorry about my dogs. All right. So if the problem of the story that uh, was that Carla's classmates didn't accept her, her taste in different sandwiches, what was the solution? If you said the solution was that Buster forgot his sandwich and he had, he was so hungry, he forced himself to eat Carla's sandwich because she offered it to him. And then after he ate it, he exclaimed that he thought it was the best sandwich ever. Yep, that was the solution. Because he was starving, because he didn't have a sandwich, he ate Carla's sandwich and realized, oh my gosh, this sandwich is really good. And then everybody else in the class was like, I'm going to make creative sandwiches too. They all realized that sometimes being creative, not sometimes, but all of the time, being creative and accepting people's differences can be a really big insight into um, accepting people as well, right? Problem and solution. So the problem was Carla's classmates didn't accept her sandwiches and started calling her names. 
But one day Buster ate one of her sandwiches and liked it. And then everybody tried one of those sandwiches and liked it too. Okay. So what you can do right now is take out a blank piece of paper or your writing template that um, the first grade teachers, if you haven't used it yet, and you can draw a picture of what the problem and solution is. Um, and you can label some of that as well if you would like to label parts of your picture that we just talked about. And you can pause the video to do that now. I'm sorry about my dogs. All right, once you have your picture, you can use your picture to help you write it out in words what the problem is. And Mrs. Glaber wrote these um, sentence stems to help you. You don't have to use exactly this, you can use your own. But here is what you could start off uh, your answers with. The problem in this story, Carla's sandwich is, and write down what you think the problem is. You can pause the video if you need to. And then the second part of the, the question that our first grade teachers want us to answer is, it was solved when, and then write down when it was solved. Use your picture to help you. If you need to go back to the story, go ahead and go back to the story. You can pause the video while you are writing down your answer. All right. Okay, first graders and kindergartners, thank you very much for um, logging in today to this link for the April 1st literary, liter, literacy session for kindergartners and first graders. I will see you on Friday, April 3rd. Don't forget, every single day you should be reading, and it's okay if you read the same book over and over again. Practice your fluency. And what does that mean, um, adults? Because I know our children know what that means. That means practice reading books out loud. The same book over and over again is just fine. It will help your brain um, strengthen your reading skills, your reading skills, all right? Okay, love you guys. See you soon.